So we're going to run through some basic set theory here. Now, set is a group of things uh, where order doesn't matter. So I don't care what order they're in, they're just a group of things. And uh, you've seen sets before. Uh, there's a set, we'll call that set A. And here's another set, and we'll call that set B. So whenever you've done a Venn diagram, you've been working with sets. So two really important parts of this set theory that we're going to have is this bit in the middle, which is A intersection B. Okay, so the intersection is kind of like the word and. And then the other really important part of uh, when we talk about set theory is the whole thing, all this stuff, uh, and we'll call that um, A union B. In other words, or A or B, don't care what it is. So to make this a little more concrete, if we're talking about a deck of playing cards, I can make set A all of the picture cards, uh, Jack, Queen, King, and I'll include Ace in that, and I could make B all of the hearts. Now, A intersection B would be, say, the King of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, the Jack of Hearts, the Ace of Hearts. There's going to be four items inside of A intersection B. A or B is going to be all of the hearts and all of the picture cards. So included in A or B is, say, the King of Spades. Yeah, it's not a heart, but it doesn't need to be. It just needs to be a picture card. Conversely, something like the Five of Hearts, it would be included in A union B as well. Um, just a couple of things that I need to talk about, about sets, just a few little bits. There's an important idea called the empty set, uh, a little zero with a diagonal line through it. Uh, that's just a set with no objects inside of it. Uh, we can still talk about a set having no things in it. The other thing I need to talk about are subsets. So, for instance, jacks are a subset. It looks like a U on its side with a line, or a C with a line underneath, but it's not really a C, it's more like a, a flat U. Uh, jacks subset picture cards. Jacks are a subset of picture cards. They're a set inside of a larger set. So that's what we mean by subset. Uh, now, important to note, uh, just as an esoteric little bit of thing, is that um, the empty set, so like the set with nothing in it, is a subset of, say, picture cards. The empty set is included as a set within all sets. Okay, so you take everything out of this, a set, there is still a subset sitting in there, the empty set. It's kind of a bit weird. So I'm just going to do a little bit of work here. If we've got a set 2, 3, and a set B called 1, 2, 3, 4, and a set C, 3, 4, 5, we can do things like um, B intersection C. So that's B and C. Things that are in B and C, 1 is only in B, 2 is only in B, but 3 and 4 are in B and C. So we can say that it's the set um, 3, we could say um, a union B. So that's all of the elements from A and all of the elements in B. So one, two, three, four. Notice I'm not inserting three twice. Three is an identical element in both, so we don't have to write three, three, and two, two, for instance. Uh, we could, I guess, say a... Um, intersection B, intersection C. So that just says something that is in B and in C and in A. Uh, so it looks like 2 and 3, 2 and 3, it looks like it's only 3 there. Now a little piece of notation that I didn't give you was this one here. You can probably guess what that is. That's not asking for um, the elements, that's asking how many elements. What is the size of uh, A? And the, the answer is just two. There's two elements inside of A. Uh, finally, last one, let's look at the subsets of C. So list subsets of C. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so all of the subsets of C. It's going to take a little while, but let's do it. So it's going to be uh, 3. There's going to be 4. These are all the one element sets. 
5. Uh, and then we have to go through all of the two element sets. So 3, 4, 3, 5, um, 4, uh, 5. Now, it might be tempting to say, oh, but what about 4, 3? 3, 4 and 4, 3 are the same set because order doesn't matter when we're talking about sets. Okay, so let's see, I've got 3, I've got 4, I've got 5, I've got 3, 4, I've got 3, 5, I've got 4, 5. Uh, that's it. Now, don't forget that set is a subset of itself. So uh, that means that another set is 3, 4, 5. So I've got all the one element sets, I've got all the two element sets, I've got the one three element set, there is one more subset of C, and that is the empty set, because an empty set is an element of itself, uh, and so write that one in. That is the list of all the subsets of C. We'll just fix this up. The subset the empty set symbol is a set by itself, so we don't have to put um, the curly brackets around it because that, that means set, it means empty set, so we don't need to say it's a set, that's like saying it's a set twice. Alright, that just gives us a common language to talk about some of this stuff. Uh, in the next one we'll take a look at some, uh, some uses for this.